Hello friends, welcome to my channel, or back to my channel as the case may be. Today I'm going to share a, another myth. This one is about coyote. It is a Native American myth, and it is telling the tale of how coyote finds out his wife was cheating on him. So why did I pick this myth for this week? Because I was able to purchase a beautiful painting this week. Technically, it was over the weekend. And this is that painting. I haven't figured out where I'm going to hang it yet, but it's called Conjure Coyote, and it was painted by Jay Murphy. It's an acrylic painting. So Coyote has kind of been on my mind, considering I bought a painting of them. With that introduction out of the way, we're going to get right into the myth. This myth comes to us from the Cheyenne tribe of North America, and it is the myth of Coyote and Wolverine. One time, Coyote's wife had a secret lover. This lover was Wolverine. Being neighbors, it only was natural that Coyote would occasionally pass by Wolverine's burrow. On this day, he and his wife were returning from a hunt and decided to visit. Wolverine was nervous. And Coyote picked up on that. Come in, come in, he said, trying to hide his nervousness. What have you been hunting today? And why have you come to visit? Wolverine was trying to determine just how energetic Coyote was. And what weapons he might have on him. Wolverine asked again, What are you hunting? And Coyote said, I haven't quite made my mind up, but maybe I'll hunt Wolverine this afternoon. Hearing this, Wolverine fled his own home, running out to the waters. Coyote, curious at this reaction, followed, as did his wife, because she too was getting nervous. Seeing that he was being followed, Wolverine thought of a clever ploy. And so, laughing, Wolverine said, Coyote, I bet my canoe is longer than yours. Coyote didn't like being talked down to. So he pulled out his canoe, and laid it next to Wolverine's. While he was measuring the canoes, Wolverine grabbed Coyote's wife and started paddling away. Coyote got mad, but still, thinking it was just a game, jumped in his own canoe and followed. As he got closer, he heard a strange song. Wolverine had begun singing and conjured a great fog bank to hide them from Coyote. Coyote realized this was how Wolverine made his medicine and dejectedly returned home. The next several days, he paced and he paced, growing angrier and angrier that Wolverine would steal his wife away from him. He even went down to his canoe and cried, asking his paddle for advice. He asked the paddle where his wife was and how he could get her back. After some time of repeating the question, the paddle finally responded, some things you must discover for yourself. Well, this made Coyote very angry. So in retaliation for the paddle saying such hard truths, he defecated and urinated upon it before breaking it in many pieces. He made such a ruckus while destroying his paddle that some of his friends overheard and came to inquire as to the problem. Martin and Fisher came out of the woods to see if they could help. Coyote explained the situation and so Martin and Fisher said, hmm, we have an idea. So they took Coyote to Wolverine's lodge, at which point they began to walk faster and faster until they were running up the walls and across the ceiling, showing off their medicine. Well, Coyote got frustrated at this, saying, you said you were going to help. This isn't helping. And in his anger, he slew everyone present after this. Using his own medicine, he divined where his wife was and went to collect her. When he found her, he growled at her and snapped at her heels, driving her back home. But eventually he softened and gave her another chance. For after all, he did still love her. In the meantime, the men and women who had been watching the entire ordeal were curious as to his power. So at a safe distance, they followed Coyote home. They wanted to know the secret 
of these marvelous powers the animals wielded. They pleaded with Coyote to teach them. They promised to leave him food and offerings if he would do so. Thus Coyote agreed and taught them the warrior medicines of Wolverine, Martin, and Fisher. But, being the cunning beast we know and love, he kept his own medicine in reserve. To this day, the elders say that a man with coyote medicine cannot be killed in battle. As with all the other myths I've shared, this is just one iteration, one possible telling of the tale. What are your thoughts? Let me know in the comments. Do you have any other myths you'd like me to relay? If you enjoyed this, consider subscribing. That way you'll be notified when new videos go up. Typically, I release a tarot video in the morning and a mythology video in the afternoon on weekdays. And weekends are for larger projects that are inconsistently scheduled because it takes a long time to make them. Until then, walk in the light, my friends. Bye!